A WWE Hall of Famer will spend the next 17 years behind bars. Tammy Sitch was drunk behind the wheel when she was in a crash that killed a 75 year old man. Fox 35's Chris Lindsay is live in Volusia County tonight. And Chris, some of his family members say they were disappointed with the sentence. Yes, there were about two dozen of the victims' loved ones in the courtroom today. They listened in, some of them even shaking their head as they listened to the defense ask for the lightest sentence possible. At the end, the judge decided that the best thing for Sitch and the community around her was to sentence her to nearly two decades worth of prison time. A precious life was lost that tragic day, and it is so incredibly sorry for that. I would ask that you give me the opportunity to atone for what I've done. WWE Hall of Famer Tammy Sitch will spend the next 17 years in prison. That's short of the maximum sentence of 25 years. A judge sentenced her on Monday for DUI manslaughter. According to the state, it was at least her fourth DUI offense. The facts of this case are fairly egregious. She runs a red light just prior to this accident, almost causes another accident. Slams into the back of this decedent. Mr. Lassiter so hard that he hits the car in front of him. The man who died in the crash was 75 year old Julian Lassiter, also known as Fran. His younger brother was in the courtroom to face Sitch. If you talk to the residents of the condominium where he lived at Daytona Beach Shores or the cabin on Lake Wanat, they would all tell you what a great guy he is. He was. Fran's daughter was also in court. She wasn't happy with the punishment. She says it wasn't enough for her. We are a little bit disappointed in the outcome. I think it should have been a whole longer than than what they what she agreed to. The decision came after the defense said Sitch is a woman who suffers from multiple mental illnesses and substance abuse. Prosecutors said she should deal with her issues behind bars. James Penty, Sitch's ex fiance, says it's a sad situation all the way around. She'll literally be paroled to a nursing home. So, I mean, you know, it's tragic for everybody involved. I feel terrible for the family. In addition to the 17 year prison sentence, she'll serve eight years of probation once she gets out. Reporting live in Volusia County, Chris Lindsay, Fox 35 News.